Okay, so apparently God started working on getting the water level down right away. It just took him 150 days to get some initial results. And it involved wind. So imagine you're Noah. You're trapped on this boat and all land is underwater. But you know that the water level is going down. So your first and really only priority is to make sure you're not right above a mountain. Because you want to use the water to go back down to ground level, right? The last thing you want is to get stuck somewhere really high, right? Well, Noah had half a year to think about this, but apparently that wasn't enough. On the 17th day of the seventh month, the boat gets stuck right on top of the mountains of Ararat. Oops! After that, the water keeps going down for months, but Noah is stuck and can't actually see it. So he sends out a raven. The raven goes on multiple reconnaissance missions until the land is dry. But I guess Noah doesn't really trust the raven or something because he sends out a dove to double check. And for some reason, the dove can't find any dry land at all. So that's very strange. <coughs> Noah waits a week before sending the dove out again. And suddenly, this time, the water is gone completely and the dove even finds a fully functioning olive tree. He brings Noah an olive leaf. I guess we're supposed to believe that the tree only needed a week to grow. But whatever. The land is dry, kinda, and a week later the dove takes off and just can't be bothered to come back again. On New Year's Day, Noah makes a hole in the roof of the boat and looks around for himself. He sees that the ground is indeed dry but still not quite dry enough for his taste. So he stays on the boat for another two months until God is like, dude, get out of the fucking boat already and bring everyone with you so they can repopulate the earth. At that point, everyone finally comes out of the boat. It's not even clear if they've hiked down the mountain yet, but Noah immediately starts building an altar because he wants to thank God for sparing their lives or something. And how does he do that? Well, remember the unspecified clean animals? He takes one of each and then he kills them and burns their bodies. He calls it a sacrifice, but it's not really a sacrifice when you're not the one who's dying, now is it, Noah? As soon as God smells the burning corpses, he gets very, you guessed it, happy. He gets very happy. Nothing smells better to him than the burning bodies of some of the only animals he didn't kill. He even gets a little sentimental. He doesn't tell Noah, but he says to himself that he's never gonna curse the ground again or fuck with the seasons and shit like that. He straight up vouches to never repeat this planet-wide genocide. 